<gasps> Look who it is. Oh my goodness. Moises. What, has it been five minutes? Has it been five minutes? Happy solstice. Oh, we got the the Polly Pocket. I mean, Silas Pocket. Is it still named Polly Pocket? What's the name? Paxton? What do you have there? Raspberries. Mmm, they're good. to the Skippin' On River. Skipping on river. Hi, Moisey. Summer solstice. Oh, we have been here before, kids. This is in Gerhart, Oregon. We're getting ready for a fire. There's Moira. Oh, Moira. see this <laughs> we do have a hose over here in case you're wondering <laughs> oh, she's got like <laughs> handles for thank you Tessa 
Very many ashes. Not bad. I don't even remember the last time I had one. Thank you. Thank you, Leopold. <laughs> and thank Tessa. You, Tessa. Yeah, thank you, Tessa. Oh, the colors are exquisite. Yeah. I got photographic proof. <laughs> we have video. We have video of burning your fire. <laughs> What is this valley called? This is Clatsop Plains. Clatsop Plains. And how many trees did Tessa plant on her property? There were no trees when she started here. She started planting and 10,000 trees later. So she literally planted 10,000 trees here. A forest. A forest. And that's, that. that's what you're seeing. Here we go. When I that's was... what you're seeing. When I was here, there was none nope. of any of this. We're also on a river. What river are we on? The Skipping on River. Skipping on River. It's just behind those trees. It's right just there. behind those trees behind me. Isn't this beautiful? Happy summer solstice 2023. Oh. Yeah, there was some... Live a little, flip the page, give me some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. I thought I was what I told I thought I was. I thought I was what I told. Picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life And over my head, trying to figure out I was going through changes, where to begin When a mountain moving revelation came marching in I thought I was what I've been told I thought I was I thought I was what I've been told I thought I was Oh, Moira's got a glowing ball Moisey Moisey Sweetheart Sweetheart oh, And there we got the frogs That's what's left oh, of the summer solstice. Fire. Good morning and welcome back to the Ninth Element Channel. Today I'm reviewing the Flex Solar Foldable 100 Watt Solar Panel. This is an amazing solar panel and I'm going to share that with you here today. The panel fits right here inside my car and I'll just show you how I take it out and set it up and use it. I'm going to go 
over all the features of this solar panel, how compact it is, and how it works for me. So thanks for being here, guys. And thank you, Flex Solar. So let's talk about the charging features of this solar panel. The DC charging cable, this cable right here, is 10 feet long. The alligator cup one is this. This is one foot long and it's got a USB plug-in there. It also has a USB type C plug-in and a quick charge where it's like 3.0 uh, USB connect as well. This is the Flex Solar 100 watt folding solar panel. It will charge 5 volts, 12 volts, and 19 volts. It is very rugged and it's weather resistant, meaning that it can take a little bit of moisture, like a little bit of rain, maybe a sprinkler or something like that. And it's also dust resistant. So for places like the desert where it gets super dusty, this little bad boy will be fine out there. It does fold up and it has magnets here to keep it shut. It weighs 11.2 pounds and as I showed you, it stores very compact and tight in the back of my tiny camper. Again, I wanna thank Flex Solar for sponsoring the channel with this solar panel for my tiny camper and for trusting me to do a review on their awesome gear. I'm currently in the woods in a valley and even in this area here, I was able to get 60 watts out of this bad boy. So I can just imagine when I'm in full spectrum sun somewhere of getting 100 plus watts from it. If you wanna get your hands on one of these solar panels for your gear, please look down in the description below this video Click on see more and you'll find the link in the description to this solar panel. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, look at where we are today, kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a clam tide. Okay, got to make it down here. Hopefully my boots don't fill with sand, but that's, uh, that's a little questionable. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Saturday, June 24th, Oregon coast, Fort Stevens Beach to Clam Tide, and we are with Leopold and Moisey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just walking along eating my pumpkin seeds first thing in the morning and then you can drive on this beach. You're not supposed to drive that fast though. You're only supposed to do, I think, 20, right? Yeah, 20. Only do 20 people. You can get pulled over for speeding on the beach. One of the last beaches in Oregon that we can still drive on but they are talking about closing it to preserve the clamming, which I don't hate that idea. So this is uh, one way to do van life at the beach. They're out there. Let me just zoom in on them. On their kayaks. Yeah, oops, stay steady. Right out there. Great way to the Oregon coast.
We're heading up this way now to go into the woods at the coast. I left my boots on this morning because my thermometer on my phone said 54, but it must be getting warmer now. It said 60. Now. Oh, is it going to be 60? Is it going to be 62 it, today? It's, it was already 60. It's, it's going to be a balmy 62 degrees here on the coast. That's actually a good temperature. Yeah. It is. The sand is really warm on my bare feet. He's giving himself a pot of care. <laughs> living her best dog life at the beach. We darn near killed her when she was a puppy. <laughs> Took her on an eight mile hike and then we googled, how far can a nine week old puppy hike? Not very far, but she showed us differently. <sighs> the temperature is perfect right now for this uh, little seaside walk through. <sighs> through the grass. Let me just flip you around. Isn't this pretty? Cypress. This is Fort Stevens on the Oregon coast. You get into the woods here. Moisey! Moira! Come here! Moira! No hope it was left of me I had to tell you oh. I'd fall asleep oh. Sitting okay. there on the edge plate Knowing which way to lean You checking up on me? Thank you. This is how diverse this coastline is. I mean, you have uh, sand dunes on the beach and you can drive on it and go clamming. And, and then you're in this cypress forest, which the trees are not very tall, as you can see, because they've been windblown. But it's very green, as you can see behind me here. And in front, super green. And it starts to get drier the more inland we go. I mean, these trees have been blown to smithereens in here. Okay, so I'm hanging out in the Newport the Library and I am uploading a video for you so I'm commandeering their Wi-Fi and I'm just on my way to meet someone special who some of you have met here on the channel and I am so excited to see you again. So hang tight and I'll be right back. I'm putting on some lip gloss. <sighs> Much better. Now we're on our way to meet our special friend. I'm so excited. I haven't seen this person for a little while and neither have you. So let's go. Hello. Oh yes, hello. I'm at Nye Beach. Where are you? Oh. Um. So they called me and said they were down here at Nye Beach and I'm assuming <clears throat> they meant down here so it should be pretty easy to locate them hopefully Filming, are you able to switch back and forth? Yeah. Oh, that's I am. cool. Okay, Hello. here we are. Alexander, <laughs> shout out your channel. Oh, Alexander Shares the Wild. So, what a great if, name. 
If you like, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mindy. <laughs> Dude, look at this beard and this hair. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, we've been working Ladies, on it. He's single. We're doing it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> we're here. We're, we were going to go hiking back there on this little rock thing, but uh, we're like planning some more missions along the coast. So we're on the Oregon coast for these next couple of days, and then I'm going to take Alexander up into the mountains. And then that's probably where we're going to depart, and you're going to head yeah. east. Yeah. yeah, and Mindy goes north. And I, yeah, I go north. Yeah, no, we go to some North Shore. I, I go north. That, so yeah, I'll be July 9th. And so if you want to meet me in person, come to Tacoma to the LeMay Car Museum, July 9th, this Sunday. I'll be there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with my Honda Element. I'll be doing tours. My cabinet maker, Fred, will be with me, and there'll be over 100 and hopefully 150 Honda Elements there. We're hoping it can be like North America's largest Honda Element meetup. Nice. Okay, nice. well let's uh, let's head up the way. We're gonna go to Devil's Punch Bowl. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so as you saw, Alexander and I are back together. We are on the coast. We're currently traveling south on the 101. Oops, and I'm getting a phone call from Miguel from Element Lifestyle. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on. I'll be right back. She put a mind to late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, but it flies so by the wheel. Even though she could knock down and never showed 